Welcome back, everybody, to some more Mars Horizon. If you didn't see the first couple of episodes uh, in this series, there's a link in the description below that will take you back to episode one. We are now in November of 1964, and we are looking at hiring some more astronauts. So uh, trying to decide who would be the best. I like this here. I like the 50% recovery time reduction for this astronaut after a mission. They're an athlete. Seems like the way to go. 7000 in salary. Costs 70000 to hire. Uh, we do have a test pilot here uh, who would add to launch reliability for the mission vehicle. I like that too, but I also see there's a lot more cost involved. I think we're going to go with Lilo Harris. I will go ahead and hire them. And right now we have the Mars flyby mission that we are uh, in the process of working on, but we haven't started designing a vehicle for it yet. We didn't have the money to do it, I don't think, at the time. Um, let's go ahead and design. What's the cheapest? Oh, we don't have one. That's why we haven't done it. We're waiting uh, to research the available mission parts that we need for this. So, unfortunately, nothing we can do until that happens. We do have boosters that are available to do this. Um, and we have supplementary boosters as well that ramp up the reliability by quite a bit. Uh, but they also ramp up the cost quite a bit. You can see it goes all the way up to 710000 But it makes it pretty much a guaranteed mission when you do it that way. Uh, so we can select that, but until we have an upper stage that's capable of doing what we need it to, uh, there's nothing we can do. So we're going to have to go out of here and wait until we can research that. And currently research, uh, what are we working on right now? Are we not working on anything? Oh, we're working on the multi-crew orbit mission. So once that's complete, then we'll be able to work on that. In the meantime, we do have an available mission to us. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select an available mission. So I'm coming over here to the request missions. Uh, I'm looking at the ones that have low risk. Uh, and I think we're going to go with ionospheric measurements. It's a pretty low risk mission. It doesn't get us a lot. Oh, well, you know what? I like this here. There's a lot uh, of mission reward available. And we're coming up. Well, it's not going to be in time. Uh, for the current cycle, but we're coming up on our next review. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll need to use the Mercury payload because it's the only one we have available right now. So let's go ahead and start building that. It'll be available in February. So let's go ahead and advance. Upcoming International Geophysical Year, you have 18 months in which to complete the mission uh, for satellite imaging. Pretty much everybody else has done the mission already. Uh, I'll have to do that at some point. Here comes our budget review. Oh, at least we made it to the next tier. We need 3,000 more to get to another tier, though. 315,000 per month. They're launching orbital EVA. That's extravehicular activity uh, in the next one here. I believe... Uh, who was the first man to walk in space? I think it was um, Ed White. I want to say it was Ed White, who was one of the three men who died in the Apollo 1 uh, disaster. Let's see. Mercury's complete in one month. There we go. Now we get to design the vehicle. We also need to start ramping up the, uh, the Mars flyby. But let's go ahead and do this first. We're going to use the cheapest one possible. And it's got a much better reliability so I think we'll go with this one, even though it costs more. Uh, booster. That gets us to an 81% launch reliability. That's pretty good. I think we'll do that. I'm a little gun-shy about reliability after the disasters we had in the last missions. Holy cow, Red Giant would cost a ton. That's 81%. Keller Industrial is more expensive, but better reliability. I think we're going to go with 397. That'll give us an 81% launch reliability. Let's do it. Okay. Build that vehicle. We're not going to be able to build the Mars. Well, we might be able to build the Mars flyby with 608,000. Oh, we still don't have the booster to do it, though. We don't have Larkspur. Design new. Here we go. Yeah, we need to 
design the Centaur C. So let's go back. We have to wait until we are able to do new research, which is coming pretty soon. One more month. Oh, we're four away. Oh, boy. There we go. A crude orbit of Earth will grant critical technological and scientific experience as well as inspiring the world at large. So we've completed multi-crew orbit. Uh, let's go to vehicles now. We need the Centaur C. So let's go ahead and start researching that. We should get it fairly quickly, uh, especially since we're about to complete a mission that will give us a ton uh, of reward. So let's go ahead. Uh, camera training. A camera manufacturer has offered to work with your technicians to adapt its cameras. Yeah, because we've been having a ton of problem with cameras on missions. Uh, train your astronauts how to use them. They claim that photographs from crewed missions could provide hugely pop prove hugely popular with the public. That would be huge. We need that support. So we'll accept that for a hundred grand. All right. 81% reliability. Let's hope that the weather cooperates. We do need to assign. Um, where's our new astronaut? Lilo Harris. We're going to assign Lilo Harris to this mission. Uh, let's see. I want the reliability bonus. Yeah. This training will increase launch reliability. Yes, please. All right, August it is. Confirm mission setup. I do not want to mess around with having a bad launch with astronauts. That would be devastating if that were to happen. So here we go. Ready for launch. If the weather's bad, we're postponing. I'm not messing around this time. Had too many failures. We need to get the Gemini program going, which will be happening here pretty soon. I feel like I'm really falling behind on some things compared to some of the other agencies. Alright, good conditions. That's excellent news. That's what we want to see. 91% reliability. What could go wrong, right? One. Our brand new astronaut going up for the first time. We have lift off. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Get plus one on comms. We've maxed out our Atlas and Redstone rockets. This should go pretty well. So we only need two on comms and eight on navigation. Four and 16 for the bonus reward. So let's, uh, let's start with module data processing. That'll get us some data, which will... Uh, allow us to turn around and use that for other things that we need. Let's see. We'll use that comm. Oh, we can't. Darn it. We'll do that. And that. All right. Let's do it. Hopefully everything goes well. We don't have to waste electricity fixing it, which is what we have to do right off the bat. That's good. Good, good, good. We're down to two electricity. I'm probably going to have to do something to build some more in the next round of turns. We've got more than enough on comms, though, so let's turn around and start spending some of that on getting some navigation points um recharge the power and then um yeah we do have a lot on comms right now and we can spend some of that on some other things okay let's do that 
Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Of course, something went wrong. Every time I say that, something goes wrong. Ugh. It's all right. I was prepared for that. Get up there. Oh, whew. just barely. Okay, we've got two turns remaining, so that's six commands. I don't know if we're going to have enough to be able to get us all the way there. We're going to try, though. We'd be at 16 at that point. Mm, I don't know. And I definitely don't know if I want to do that. We can do that. That'll get us to 11. We'll be five away with one turn to go. Hopefully nothing wastes our electricity at this point. We have only two. Good, good, good. I really could use that bonus reward because this is a huge, huge payout mission already. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, we almost got into the bonus level there. All right, good. So we've got two electricity going into this last turn, which is incredibly important. Um, we can spend one of our comms. That'll get us to 15 if nothing goes wrong. We can spend that data to get us over the magic number. And then... Honestly, we don't need to do anything else. I guess just recharge the power because we can. Just in case. And that gives us plenty of power in case anything goes wrong. So it looks like we played our cards right for this one. That's good. Awesome. Home free. I think this will do it right here. That's it. Sweet. A successful mission. I desperately needed that. Bring home our new astronaut. Everything went perfectly. Because I don't think anything can fail with the re-entry. If we've done everything in space successfully. Send in the boats. All right, so 500 science for the next four months. Harris is already available. That's pretty nice. Um, okay, so how, how close are we? We'll, we'll have the research the next turn on Centaur C. So now we can do the Mars flyby mission, finally. There's Centaur C. That'll give us 70% reliability. That's only 57 if we go there. That's 70, but it costs more. Oh, this is going to wipe me out financially. Now let's look at the contractors. Ooh, boy. None of these are changing the reliability a ton. We got an extra 5% if we go with Keller Industrial. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Whoa, that was expensive. But a Mars flyby mission is huge. But we're already into the 60s. I mean, we are way behind historically what was happening in the space program. Um, what else can we go for here? Buildings, missions... Let's get the Gemini two or the Gemini payload that'll allow us to put two astronauts in space at once. And we're pretty well wiped out on money, but I feel like we should start getting another mission going. What can we do with the moon? Anything? We still haven't done the lunar orbit mission. We also have what's that mission we need to do? Satellite imaging. I think we have to do that one. That's not an expensive payload, so that's good. Okay. 
So we got a couple of months to advance. I don't think we're going to be getting a boost in funding next time because we need to be all the way up to 8,000. We're not even close to that. Now we need to design the vehicle for the satellite imaging mission. Can we, yeah, let's reuse the Larkspur design. Seven months build time. My goodness. All right. Rival Agency offers help. Following their successful multi-crew orbit mission, rival agency Soviet Union have publicly offered to share their payload technology with your agency to give our friends the help they need in the space race. Um, yeah, well, I don't know that that's going to be a huge issue because I'm not anywhere near the next tier. So I lost 200 support but gained 500 science. I think that was worth it. Gemini research complete. I usually say Gemini, but I know they called it Gemini at the time. I think a lot of people did. Um, man, we still haven't researched EVA, Mars orbit, Mercury orbit, anything like that. Crude moon landings down there. Let's do EVA next. All right. So where are we at? One month away from Trappist being complete. Is that the Mars mission? It is. All right, Mars flyby. This is a big one for us if we can make it happen. Again, I think I'm going to go for launch reliability. Oh, really? We can't, we can't launch until February of 67 for this one? Wow. And the European Space Agency already completed this. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's probably because we're flying to another planet and there are certain windows when Mars, like right now in real life, Mars is about as close as it's going to be for a while. Um, so there are certain windows when you're launching to other planets as far as when we're on the same same side of the sun and close together and, and the optimal time to launch. So I guess that's probably what that's about. All right, Soviet Union completed orbital EVA. We're not anywhere close to completing things. Japan completed multi-crew orbit and orbital EVA. Did they do those on the same mission? I guess they did. We're just racking up the money right now while we do some things. Do I have anything I can build at my base that I haven't already? I don't think so. I've got everything built that I can. All right. Let's get out of there. They're doing their march flyby in 12 months, but we're ahead of them, so that's good. Oh, that's the mission I was working on. I'm doing it right now. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Should I just cancel it? Now nah, let's get the science reward. All right. Got to be careful with my support because it's dangerously low to dropping a tier. Okay. Well, like I said before, I've learned a lot. This is my first time playing through the campaign. And I've learned a lot about what not to do, which is something that happens in strategy games the first time you play them and you learn how they work. Uh, there were a lot of things I could have done early to save myself a ton of money in terms of research that would have helped me now that we're in a little bit more of the mid game. And uh, so I set myself behind by not making better choices early on. And I'm not entirely sure I can catch up now. But we're going to play it out and see what happens. We have lift off. This is an uncrewed mission, but I still would like it to go well because there's a lot of science involved. All right, that's good. So what happens if I hit auto resolve on these? I haven't tried that yet. No, I guess I can't for this one. All right, it shouldn't be too hard to collect all that stuff. Bonus reward eight, six and four. 
let's start with data right off the bat because we can turn it around and spend that on other things that we need. Um, then we'll do that. Then we'll recharge the power. Oh, see this stupid camera thing that always happens. Always happens. Every time there's a mission that involves a camera, it screws up. Okay, so we need six more comms, five more data, and two more navigation. We've got three power left. So we can get a lot of comms this way. That'll drop us on data, though, but then we can turn around and use electricity to get the data we need. And then... Uh... Do that. Okay. Please, no mistakes. I don't want to have to recharge my electricity anymore. Nice. Awesome. Settling in nicely now for our imaging mission. Kind of an ugly satellite, though, isn't it? It's the, it's the Borg. It looks like the Borg with things sticking out of it. All right, good. That was a good turn for us. We've got all the, the comms we need. We've got two turns left. Um, we could turn around and spend comms on some other things. We need ones that just give us a lot, though. Like that. What's that get us to? Five, four, and five. So we would need three more comms, two more data, and we're good on navigation. We could actually spend a little navigation here. Do that. Uh, yeah, I think we'd be okay there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the electricity just because I don't want to mess around with running out on that and having something else fail. Because I think we'll have enough electricity then on the last turn to complete this mission successfully with the bonus. No! See, that's why we need electricity. For such a time as that. Okay, last turn. We need three data. And that's it. That's all we need is three data. So, um... Let's see, if we spend one comm, that gets us to four, five, and eight. We'd be good there. We would need to spend a navigation point on data. Uh, maybe that's not the way to go there. We've got enough navigation. We could spend comms on navigation and data, and then we need something to get two more data. Electricity would do it. Ah, oh boy. This is tough. That'd give us one more than we need, though. We could spend one data and one navigation to get comms, but we don't need comms. Um, okay, if we do that for electricity, then we have it. So even if every one of these goes wrong once, we'd be good. Well, no, because one of them we actually have to spend electricity. So here we go. I think we're solid. I think we're good. Because we spend electricity there. All right, we got it. Awesome. Very successful mission. It's exactly what we needed. We were fifth in achieving it, though. So no great rewards there. But we got that Mars flyby coming back up in six months. We're not going to get any any bonus to 
anything. Um, let's take a look. We have an active mission available. Let's look at what missions are available. I don't think we have anything available for the moon right now. Have we done? We haven't done lunar orbit yet. Okay, let's do that. Pioneer. Yep. I think we tried lunar orbit before and it didn't go right. So let's start getting that ready. Soviet Union satellite request. They have requested you redirect your observation satellite using the satellite imaging mission to track a severe tropical cyclone. Um, interesting. We've been... Oh, we'll be reduced by one month. Um, sorry. Need the science. We're working on orbital EVA. All right, we're going to get our lunar orbit launch vehicle prepared. Do we have... Uh, Larkspur can't work for that. Design new. Okay, upper stage. Boy, that's expensive. This one's way cheaper. And it's actually more reliable, too. That's the way to go. That's way cheaper, too. Now, contractor. We could do this in four months. It would cost more, but we've got money right now. I mean, that's not a huge deal. What else is there? That would take eight months. Less support, less money. 86% reliability there, but would take six months. Um, And lose science, too. Yeah, let's do it. I want the reliability on that one right now. Build a vehicle. All right. So we got a funding review coming up. We're going to get our Mars flyby first, though. EVA research complete, so we'll be able to do that mission next. Now we need to get... Um, uh, let's see. Venus orbit. Mars orbit. Let's do Venus orbit. All right, funding review is not going to change. Here comes the Mars flyby mission. This is a big one for us. We're already in the 67. We're only two years away from when historically the, uh, the moon landing happened. We could be second on this one, though. Only ESA has made it, and, and China and or, uh, Russia and Japan are coming up close on this one, so... We need to make this successful. All right, this is a big one for us. I've been working on this for a while. No mistakes, no mistakes. Weather looks good. Let's hope all goes well. Rocket looks solid. I like it. 92% launch reliability. I like it. Feel good. Come on, baby. We have lift off. So far, so good. Go to Mars. Get there. Nice. We get a plus one uh, because of accurate telemetry on the first stage of our mission. That's our first time using the Centaur C. All right, here we go. I will say this part gets a little repetitive just because all the missions basically have kind of the same thing that you're trying to do. This one's a little different because we're trying to get uh, navigation and whatever a thrust on this one. So it's a little different as far as what you're going after. We've got still got four turns to do it. We still get that bonus to power um, because of the things I built on the ground. Um, so we need navigation and thrust is what we're after. So we're going to need some comms to do that. So let's spend some electricity right off the bat. Then we can spend comms to get navigation and thrust. And then I'm going to recharge my power. That actually goes first, so that's good. Ooh, just barely.
comms, which we will oh turn around and spend and screw up to get some much needed navigation and thrust. All right. So we got a fifth of the way toward our objective on navigation and almost a third of the way on that one. Um, what can we do that's going to be better than that? Really, the only way to get thrust is to send the data, spend the data, or the, the, the comms, which costs electricity every time. Uh, and electricity for navigation as well. Oh. That's brutal. That'll get us to seven on thrust. We're going to have to do better than that, though. Eventually, we'll be able to spend da uh, data on a decent amount of navigation. So, um, oh boy, this is a little trickier. So that's what I get for saying something about how uh, it gets repetitive. Let's do that one. We'll see where we're at with two turns to go. That's good. I mean, I'm not worried about completing the objective. What I'm trying to do is get that bonus reward because I need it as much as I can to catch up because I've fallen behind some of the other agencies. Oh, there goes another electricity. We're down to two. Okay. So I need four more thrust. We got two turns to go and eight more navigation, but I've got some comms and data with me as well. Uh, so that's going to help me with getting the navigation part. That'll get me to five and six. I'll still have two comms that I can spend here. That'll get me to 6 and 10, which means my last turn I'm going to have to try and get 4 navigation. Which is going to be tough, because the only way to get that kind of navigation is electricity. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get the bonus reward on this one. Especially when that happens. Ah. We've achieved the basics for the objective. Not sure we're going to get the bonus reward. That's a lot of navigation we need. We still we need four navigation. Ah, oh, we keep losing one on thrust. I don't know what's going on that causes that. So I don't think it's going to happen. All I've got is electricity left. You can't get just one thrust either. Yeah, there's just no way to do this. I would have to spend electricity to do that. Do that to get four thrust, which doesn't help me. That would get me to 7 and 13. And then I still need 3 comms. Or 3 navigation. There's just no way to get it. If I spend 2 here, that gets me to 8. But that still doesn't get me the thrust I need. Yeah. It can't happen. We just have to accept that we can't get the bonus reward on this one. Darn it. And that's what I get for saying... That it's repetitive and easy. It seems that that often happens to me. That I, uh, I say something and then it blows up in my face. All right, still a successful mission. We got the Mars flyby. Just didn't get the bonus. 88 science for the next eight months. Oh, that's phase one of the Mars flyby. We still have phase two to complete. All right. Next phase is in seven months. All right, that makes sense because we've got to, you know, actually get to Mars. 
Here's our lunar orbit. And we're going to wrap up with this mission for this episode. Um, 86% reliability. I like that. Set a launch date. May looks good. Confirm mission setup. One month away. We'll be fourth on lunar orbit. So again, really far behind. So we'll do this and then we'll complete the Mars flyby and then we'll call it an episode. Of course, the goal here is to uh, put a man on the moon and I don't know that I'm going to be the first to do that, but we're sure going to put all of our efforts into that. I, I say, I, I got to say this, I, uh, I long for the days as an American when we have, um, yeah, I'm going to reschedule this launch. I'm not going to mess around. Um, when we had John F. Kennedy saying, you know, setting that ambitious goal to go to the moon by the end of the decade. Um, that just had to have been an exciting time. And just doing great things like that. American or not, no, no matter what country you are, hopefully you can take pride in achievements that your nation makes. And um, That was something that must have been, there must have been a lot of pride, not only for Americans, but for the world in doing that. Because it wasn't, only Americans who worked on that project. In fact, we never would have done it without a German scientist that came here after World War II. Werner von Braun. All right, now we've got excellent reliability. 99%. That's what you like to see. I take for granted that, you know, liftoff is going to happen, but we had some missions in the last episode where it did not happen, that part. Average uh, launch, neutral, nothing bad, nothing good. Got our Jupiter up to level 3, Abel up to level 2. Here we go. Lunar orbit, that'll... It doesn't take real long for that to happen. Um, moon's what about a quarter million miles away three or four days I guess so this should be a one one off mission type of thing all right we only need four and five this should actually be really easy uh, to achieve data and navigation so um, we'll do that and recharge power and do that oh we have a ton of power I probably didn't need to do that it's only a 25% bonus reward to do this but I don't think I needed to recharge power all right that's good okay so now what we can do is we can spend Oh, we don't have any data yet. No, that's right. We're going to spend navigation and comms on data. Um, then we're going to spend that there. That's going to get us one and two. And then let's do that. The data is kind of hard to come by. Oh, that happens every time. It's like the camera. Oof, just barely. Two turns left. We've achieved the navigation goal. At least the, the first one. That'll get us to four data, which is what we need. And then we need three navigation. Which actually should be fairly easy to achieve. Let's recharge power. Okay. That'll get us close. 
Um, it'll just be a little more um, spending on the electricity on the last turn. But we've got a decent amount, so I think we're going to be solid there. I probably bought more data than or comms than I needed to. Good. As long as we're not spending the electricity to fix problems, then we should have no trouble spending it to get the last navigation that we need. We need one, two. Assuming nothing goes wrong. Oh, we can recharge power. We should be solid. We can afford for things to go wrong once or twice here. Awesome, there's one. We need one more, and we'll get it right here. Woo, just barely. That's a completed mission with bonus. Only a 25% reward, but we'll take it. That's phase one. Okay, so that is only phase one. Interesting that it'll... Uh, do we just go right to phase two now? Because it's only like a couple of days to get to the moon. Here we go. Now we got to do it again. Okay, this one's going to be a little tougher. Six comms, seven data. That's not easy to get either. Um, wow. This is going to be a tough one. We got six electricity. Um, that actually would work out nicely there. Um, yeah, let's do that. That'll be a good start, assuming everything goes okay. Six and seven. Boy, that's going to be tough, though. Going to kind of need things to go well. Ooh. Bonus. That gave me an additional data. That's excellent news. That's the kind of thing I was talking about when I said we need things to go well. Good first turn. No, no problems. Awesome. That helps. So we're well on our way now, and now we can turn around and spend this navigation point uh, to get additional data and comms. We've still got five electricity. We need to get two more comms and three more data. Uh, let's see. That'll get us to four and six. Um... Okay, yeah, let's do that. Assuming everything goes well, we'll still have three electricity. Even if something goes wrong, we'll still have two. That'll be more than enough. I think we're in good shape. Because that first turn went so well. Awesome. Haven't had a, a mission go this smoothly in a while. I know, famous last words. Oh, there we go. Two turns without any problems. Awesome. That should be more than enough electricity to complete this. We just need two comms and we're done. So let's recharge power and then do that. And that's it. I mean, that's it. That's all we got to do. Awesome. Completed mission. No problems. Got both bonuses. That's a 50% bonus reward. Could not have gone better. Just wish it had happened two years earlier. Standing O for that one, baby. Standing O. We were fourth to achieve lunar orbit. Some much needed science. We still need 2,000 more support to hit the next tier, but we've got a lot of money at the moment. Next phase of the Mars flyby is coming up, and that's actually going to be the last thing we'll do for this episode. Uh, is there another available mission that we could be working on? Let's wait one month because we're going to have the Venus Orbit mission available to us. And now let's look at research. What about buildings? PR office would actually be huge. Um, gain greater support. Uh, might be helpful. But honestly, finances aren't my major concern at the moment. We're going to need that Saturn V rocket to be able to complete 
the mar or the uh the lunar landing so um let's get the titan 2 booster going and let's look at oh we got to go to go to venus to do this hello venus oh we can't do venus orbit yet oh we need mariner 8 okay darn it Mariner 8's right there. So we didn't work on that yet, unfortunately. Okay, so I guess we're just going to wait and do our Mars flyby. Titan 2 research complete. So do we go for Mariner 8 now? I think we probably do. Time for the last part of our Mars flyby. Here we go. Go to mission. Continue mission. This is where we'll wrap up this episode. Hopefully everything goes well. seems simple enough oh, five eight and three for the bonus all right here we go we've got five electricity to start let's start with some data collection let's turn that into navigation and comms and then get a bunch more data okay that's a good start i'll take that that actually achieves our comms and navigation needs for the objective on the first turn. So far so good. The red planet in sight. Awesome. Good first turn, no problems. All right. So now what we need to get to are, we need five comms, four more data, and one more navigation. What can get us a lot of comms? Actually, spending some data gets us a lot there. Um, that's a ton of navigation, but we don't need a lot of navigation. Spending another data point. No. That's actually really helpful. Because then we can focus after that on getting two more data and four more comms. I think that's doable. Let's get some more electricity just in case. And that's why we need it. Right there. Resist. Come on, there we go. Awesome. I think we're well on our way here. So what we need now is uh, we need two data, four comms, and we've got this. Recharge power, spend a power point there. That gets us our data, and then we just have to focus on comms last time out. Where can we get some comms? Oh, boy. Spending electricity is the easiest way to do it. But, uh. Actually, if we do this, then we can turn around and spend navigation on data and comms the next turn. That would actually work. Okay, let's see where that puts us. I think, barring any issues, we should be in good shape going into the last turn to be able to get that bonus reward. So we're going to need four comms. I oh, know, three comms. Let's see. Okay, so we need three comms, one data, and we're home free. This will get us two comms and a data, and then we just need one more comm. 
Recharge power, then spend power. That'll get it. As long as we don't have more than one pro... Oh, come on. So this last one has to go... Oh, <laughs> woo! That was not a guarantee that was going to work. If we did, if if there'd have been a problem, we would not have completed that. Mars flyby, standing O, baby. Mars flyby, successful. We were second to achieve it. That's very helpful. That's a decent amount of support. We're getting closer to the next tier, uh, but we completed that one second. So that's where we're at going into things. Uh, we don't have any active missions at the moment. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Where should I go next? Uh, should we focus more? Uh, looking at research, we're working on Mariner 8, which will allow the Venus uh, mission. But we've got to really be thinking about the crewed mission landing, which once we complete Mariner 8, we'll be able to work on. So that's kind of the goal, and maybe that's where we head next mission or next episode. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a like if you would. Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.